Cowboys' future at Air Bay becoming more complicated. The Dallas Cowboys are facing uncertainty about the future of their running back room. Despite owner Jerry Jones' comments about having big plans for Tony Pollard and wanting to keep Ezekiel Elliott, the team has yet to make a long-term commitment to either player. Rumors continue to circulate about the possibility of the Cowboys releasing Elliott, which would save the team $4.8 million. If they designate him as a post-June 1st cut, they could save $10.9 million. Despite these rumors, the Cowboys plan to re-sign Pollard to a franchise tag deal worth $10.1 million for one year, rather than offering him a multi-year contract. This signals that the Cowboys want to see one more year of production from Pollard before making him a cornerstone of their running back group. The team's interest in other running backs is also evident in their meeting with B. John Robinson's agent during the NFL scouting combine. Robinson is considered one of the top prospects in the 2023 draft class, having won the 2022 Doak Walker Award and rushing for 18 touchdowns in 12 games last season, tying him for fifth in the FBS. Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy has emphasized the importance of the running game, saying, I want to run the damn ball, during a recent news conference. However, few teams split carries among three running backs, and the Cowboys may need to make tough decisions about their current roster. The uncertainty around the running back position in Dallas stems in part from the performance of Ezekiel Elliott. Once considered one of the best running backs in the NFL, Elliott's production has declined in recent years. Last season, he rushed for just 979 yards and six touchdowns, both career lows. He also fumbled six times, tying him for the most in the NFL. Despite his struggles, Elliott is still a talented player who could be a valuable asset for the Cowboys if he can return to form. However, his contract is a significant burden on the team's salary cap, and the Cowboys may need to make tough decisions if they want to free up money to sign other players. Tony Pollard, meanwhile, has shown flashes of brilliance during his time in Dallas. Last season, he rushed for 435 yards and four touchdowns on just 101 carries, averaging 4.3 yards per carry. He also caught 28 passes for 193 yards and another touchdown. Pollard is a versatile player who can contribute both as a runner and a receiver, and the Cowboys clearly see potential in him. However, the Cowboys' interest in B. John Robinson suggests that they may not be entirely sold on Pollard as their long-term solution at running back. Robinson is a dynamic player with excellent speed and agility, and he could be a game-changer for the Cowboys' offense. It's unclear what the Cowboys' plans are for their running back group, but it's clear that they are exploring their options. Whether they decide to stick with Elliott and Pollard, draft Robinson, or make other moves remains to be seen. However, it's clear that the Cowboys are not entirely confident in their current plan, and they are preparing for the possibility of changes in the future. Ultimately, the success of the Cowboys' running game will depend on the performance of their running backs, as well as the team's offensive line and overall strategy. The Cowboys will need to make smart decisions about their roster if they want to maximize their chances of success in the coming years. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones comments on Tony Pollard rumor. The Dallas Cowboys are facing a dilemma in their backfield as the deadline for franchise tag designations quickly approaches. According to Ian Rappaport of NFL Network, the Cowboys plan to use the franchise tag on running back Tony Pollard if the two sides cannot come to an agreement on a contract by March 7. While this news is not surprising, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones declined to confirm the report when speaking with reporters at the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. Jones indicated that he did not want to give away any leverage in contract negotiations. The tag really does, if you can, need to be used two or three different ways, Jones said. There's more value than just saying that's it there, now we worry about all this other stuff. So Terry's a way to take that and maybe get a little bit more out of it. Jones went on to say that while he did not want to confirm that the Cowboys were planning to use the franchise tag on Pollard, the running back was a big part of the team's plans. He emphasized that the Cowboys would do whatever it takes to keep Pollard in Dallas. Cowboys Vice President Stephen Jones echoed his father's sentiment earlier this week, 
saying that the team was not afraid of the tag. However, the Cowboys may prefer to use the franchise tag rather than commit to Pollard long term. The team has already seen how a lucrative contract given to a running back can eventually complicate things, with Ezekiel Elliott's six-year, $90 million contract still looming over Arlington. Pollard had a breakout season in 2021, rushing for over 1,000 yards and demonstrating that he is the talent to be a starting running back in the NFL. The Cowboys have expressed their desire to keep Pollard, but negotiations have reportedly been slow moving. The franchise tag would give the Cowboys more time to negotiate with Pollard while also guaranteeing that he remains in Dallas for at least another year. The tag would come with a price tag of $10.1 million, which is a significant amount of money for a running back. If the Cowboys decide to use the franchise tag on Pollard, they will have until July 15 to negotiate a long-term contract with him. If they fail to come to an agreement by the date, Pollard would play the 2022 season on the franchise tag. The use of the franchise tag on Pollard underscores the complicated nature of the running back position in today's NFL. Teams must balance the desire to have a talented running back with the risk of committing too much money to the position. Many teams have been burned by signing running backs to long-term contracts, only to see those players suffer injuries or see their production decline. The Cowboys have first-hand experience with this phenomenon, as Elliott has not lived up to the expectations set by his massive contract. It is likely that the Cowboys will try to negotiate a long-term deal with Pollard rather than rely on the franchise tag. However, the tag gives the team a fallback option if negotiations become contentious. In any case, it is clear that Pollard is a key part of the Cowboys' future plans. His emergence as a star running back has given the team hope for the future, and the Cowboys will do whatever it takes to keep him in Dallas. As the deadline for franchise tag designations approaches, Cowboys fans will be watching closely to see what the team decides to do. Regardless of whether the team uses the tag or negotiates a long-term contract, Pollard's future with the Cowboys is sure to be a major storyline in the coming weeks and months. Rap Sheet Tony Pollard ticketed for Cowboys franchise tag if no deal reached. The Dallas Cowboys have made it clear that they won't be letting their star running back Tony Pollard go into free agency. Pollard's breakout season in 2022 saw him posting career highs in multiple categories, including rushes, yards, touchdowns, and receiving yards. After this performance, it's not surprising that he was seen as one of the top running backs in NFL free agency making it vital for the Cowboys to keep him. On Friday, NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport confirmed that the Cowboys plan to use their franchise tag on Pollard if they can't agree to terms on a long-term deal before the tag deadline on March 7. This move is a must for Dallas, especially with the strong possibility of Ezekiel Elliott being a cap casualty before the start of NFL free agency on March 15. The franchise tag for running backs in the upcoming season is expected to be over $10 million, while Pollard made just under a million dollars for his impressive 2022 campaign. Given that the Cowboys have already paid a hefty contract to Elliott, it makes sense for them to use the franchise tag on Pollard for now, rather than committing to a long-term deal. Despite suffering a broken leg and high ankle sprain against the 49ers in the playoffs, Pollard is expected to be ready for the start of training camp in July. Losing him would have been a killer blow to the Dallas offense next season, but fans can now breathe a sigh of relief knowing that Pollard will be back in Dallas for at least one more season. The Cowboys have a history of paying top dollar to running backs, which can eventually complicate things, as is the case with Elliott's six-year, $90 million contract. With Pollard's impressive performance last season, it's clear that the team had to pay him one way or the other this offseason. By using the franchise tag on him, the Cowboys can buy more time to negotiate a long-term deal while keeping their star running back on the roster. It's not surprising that Pollard is highly valued by the Cowboys organization. He has shown the ability to make big plays and create yards even in a crowded backfield. His versatility as a runner and receiver makes him a valuable asset to the Cowboys' offense, and it's clear that the team wants to keep him in the long run. In conclusion, 
the Cowboys are making the smart move by using the franchise tag on Tony Pollard, ensuring that he stays in Dallas for at least one more season. While there is always a risk involved with using the franchise tag, it's a calculated risk that the team is willing to take to keep their star running back. Fans can now look forward to another season of explosive plays and dynamic performances from Tony Pollard.